it up. What's the matter with you? It's Friday. You're supposed to wake up. Uh, 19 minutes after 7 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. It is April 3rd, 2015. Here at the Paddock Mall, it is, hold on, I'll tell you, 62 degrees. We used to have a thermometer. Now we have a computer to tell us the temperature. And Robin is here somewhere. There she is. I have two pretty ladies in the studio with me this morning. Two pretty ladies. Wow. What happened to the What happened to the ugly guy? Where did he go? He left? He left the room? <laughs> he saw the pretty lady walk in and he left the room? Where did Doug go? Doug, where are you? Thing. What's the matter with you? I'm walking out of here. We're going to start the morning right now, aren't we? Uh, uh, Madeline Rousseau is in the studio. Good morning, Madeline. How Good you morning. doing? Nice to meet yeah. you. Thank you. Nice I've, to meet I, you, I've known you as a Facebook person. Yes, we met at the <laughs> uh, Kiss the Horse uh, kickoff. Oh, did we? Yes. Did I say hello? Or did. Was I rude? I wasn't rude. I hope was I? <laughs> no, you were not. No, and, and that was where where they had that uh, the that, Marion County literacy. Yeah, but I mean they had some cheese thing there, right? See, I always recognize food, so cheese and cheese, wine. Yeah. Well, nice, <laughs> nice to see you again and get to know you a little bit. You're 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 having an event tomorrow night. Yes, sir. And I and I did. Are you an astronomy person? I I am not an astronomy person. You own a telescope. I, I borrowed the telescope. Oh, you borrowed a telescope. <laughs> <laughs> but I do love the sky and Oh, good. I love the, the sky. Wouldn't that be a great title to a song? Yes. I love the sky. Yes, it is. Uh, well, Madeline, we're going to find out about what you're doing tomorrow to help raise money for the Literacy Council, which is very cool. Uh, and very creative, too, by the way. I was, I was reading some of the things you're doing. We should we should advertise. We should put, like buy advertising space on the accordion and... Oh, we should. Just mm-hmm. pay it by a, 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 a what, how, how yeah. bad would it need to be for somebody to pay for it? Like a foot, a foot long? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, good morning, Madeline. Nice to meet you again. And we're recording this for posterity. I'll, I'll yeah. put the camera closer to you after the break. Right yeah. now, right now, you have oh, kind nice. of a dis- it's the top of my head and Robin and you. <laughs> uh, uh, later on, news bites at eight thirty-five. That's where. Um, We'll just simply read the news. You're welcome to stay through as long as you want to stay, Madeline. You you are our guest all morning long if you want to be here. Jim George is a fun guy, which is more than one fungus. And yes. uh, he's, he's our Professor Gadget. He's the guy who will uh, tell you about gadgets. And the Pentagon has purchased some gadgets. I have five five cool things that the Pentagon bought. One of them is a top secret, so I, I really have to tell you with a whisper, but I'll tell you. Oh, okay. I know <laughs> you. You've got everybody wired. <laughs> Peter Wilkes at 935. Peter is the son of an Episcopal minister, and he happens to be an artist, and he's written a book called A Woman Called God. Yep. We have another guy coming on. He wants to call Mother Nature, Father Nature. He's, yeah. He wants to change the genders. Yeah. Father does. God, Mother Nature. <laughs> I know. I, I'm not going along with that. Just saying, no, just. He's written the <laughs> we, we, book. We got to promote people. <laughs> Ocala Magazine Radio. Kelly Hart is the host of that segment, and she'll be on at 10.05. And Jim Beckett at 10.35. He is, of course, our professional golf, PGA golf teacher, and uh, the founder of the Golf College. He was our instructor once upon a time. Mm -hmm. Not that we learned a whole lot, but he was a great teacher. Uh, Charles Subi is coming on 11.05. He's an improv actor and a screenplay writer, and he's written a book called A Shot of Malaria, The Ugly Realities of Addiction with Sharp Ironic Humor. Uh, Sunday is Easter, and uh, so I have some Easter trivia for the Fun with Joe segment later on. Nice. Kind of fun. And... uh, and, and then Tom Davis is coming in this morning also. You'll meet Tom. And Tom is from uh, Life South Community Blood Center. And yesterday we had some fun with Tom. I, Tom is an actor also. So I, I got some pieces of scripts from the Adams Family, from uh, Andy Griffith show, and from the TV show Friends. And Robin and, and Tom basically acted out the parts. I just played the theme songs and the applause <laughs> the love the laughter. Right? You were the other parts too. And oh, I was, our, I was Lurch, yeah. which I was horrible at Lurch, <laughs> even though I... <laughs> Probably could pass for Lurch. And, and, uh, you know who can pass for Lurch? John Tesh. Yeah, he could. He kind of looks like... Lurch wasn't a bad-looking guy. No. Huh? Did you ever... Do you know who Lurch is, right? No? Oh, you really? Oh, it's We are so Lurch old, aren't time. we? <laughs> You're so pretty. You're such a young, pretty lady. Uh, all right, so, so that's what we're doing this morning. And let's see if there's anything I need to point out before we do anything else. Um, well, tonight is the first Friday Art Walk, and we're going to be there on the corner... Do you know you're, you're studying the skies tonight, right, Ma- uh, Madeline? Yes. Tomorrow. T- tomorrow night, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. 
I'm always looking up. And so, is that right? And so, so I, I equate the First Friday Art Walk to the solar system. Okay. <laughs> now, the area where the gazebo is, that's the sun. That's the center of the solar system. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of activity happens around the sun, right? A lot of things happening. Do you know they discovered a new moon around Pluto? <laughs> well, we are at that moon. That's how far away we are yeah, from the middle of town. <laughs> we're, we're way down by the Feta restaurant. Yep. You know the Feta Mediterranean Feta. cuisine? Feta. Feta. Oh, okay. Feta. Uh huh. Feta. Fed a lot of people in my lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> Madeline's been to Paris. She knows how to pronounce it. I know. I have been to Paris, but that, that's not a little Greek. Not, <laughs> not oh, that's French. Right. That's a little Greek. Oh, is Feta a Greek restaurant? <laughs> have you eaten there? Yes, I have. Oh, that shows you Did you fed a lot of people when you went there? <laughs> I fed my boys. You, you fed your boys? How old oh. are your boys? My boys are now... I'm going to date myself here. My uh, oldest son is 23. Is my that right? Son is wow. 20. 20. Wow. wow. Yeah, you don't look like you could have two boys at all. <laughs> yeah. Wow, good for you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have fun with Madeline. Uh, Madeline Rousseau, am I saying your last name correct? Yes, That's you That's a are. French name, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I am not French. But you're not French. You're American. <laughs> I am American, yes. Well, nice to meet you, Madeline. Are, are you uh, okay with being here? Yes, sir. I haven't pushed any bad buttons yet, have I? Not at all. Because I've done that a few times. Not at all. I'm good. Uh, so we're going to have some fun with you. So uh, tomorrow evening is your event. Yes, it is. Celebrate under the full pink moon. The full pink moon. Now, why the pink moon? Because in April, the moon is called the pink moon. Every month, the moon has sort of a name. I in didn't, October, I didn't it's know the that. harvest moon. In April, it's the pink moon. I didn't know that. So we're hoping that it has a little hint of pink. Oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? You know what? In the dollar store, they sell glasses. Pink. You can look through yeah. the many colored glasses. I thought about that. They're for you know, children. Pink lens in the yeah. So they might be wide on like a big head like mine. They might <laughs> scratch down. You could sell them for a dollar a piece. Put that money towards your event. That's a good idea. Well, that would, then you'd break even because that's what they oh. cost. <laughs> Cost a dollar. Got to sell them for like five dollars or something. Uh, yeah, and I, and I found a whole bunch of stuff. So after the break, we'll talk about. It. I got. I went to uh, telescopes.com. I went to a couple of different sites. Did you know there's um, a meteor shower happening right now? I have. Did you know this? That with binoculars, I was reading this article in on that website. With binoculars, you can look up in the sky almost at any time, and if you just kind of just lay there and look up, you will see a shooting star. Mm -hmm. With your naked eye, you don't see them all. But with the binoculars, because they, in, in what do you call it, amplify the light, Oh. you can see meteors. Nice. Shooting stars, whatever you want to call them, or meteorites. When is it a meteorite? When it hits the atmosphere or when it hits the Earth? I don't know. Do you know? I don't. You have no interest in astronomy? This is just something you decided to do? The pink? No, I, I oh, you don't do? have like serious interest in oh. astronomy. I've never studied it, but personally, I've always had interest in does it. Does the sky look different in Paris than it does here? Yes, it did. The sunset looked different also. Really? I wonder why. Do you speak French? Different location. No, I do not. I know how to say, where is the bathroom? Où se trouve la toilette? Hello? Hello, where's the Au bathroom? Revoir? I can say Hello, that. where's the bathroom? Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I, know, I knew enough to say hello, goodbye, and ask for butter sort of thing. But <laughs> How do you ask for butter? I don't know how to say you that. say bah. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> When you want butter for your bread, you just ask for ba, and they give you butter. Oh, or else nice. they won't bring out the butter. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ba. Was it made out of goat milk? Yeah. Um, goat or no sheep milk? What goes ba? Idea, a sheep or a goat? The bread is to die for over there. The pastries are to die for. They is everybody so skinny over there? Wow. That's what they say. You know what? That is funny you mentioned that because I noticed how thin everybody was wow. over there. And I now understand Why? Why? Because they walk everywhere. Oh, well, that would be, oh, if that, that was true, sense. then everybody in New York would be skinny. They are walking a everywhere and up and down steps and in and out of the, the metro and the subways. But that's New York, too. Yeah. Everybody's not skinny in New York. Well, that's true. Good point. A lot of heavy people. But <laughs> I'm, it, I'm it might be because of the food. <laughs> um, over here, I think we put a lot of other stuff in our food. Like I mean, they mm -hmm. They don't in France probably eating healthier in France. Oh. See, I, I love bread, but all these guests we have on who are health people, they say don't eat too much bread. In fact, they say no bread. No bread, no pasta, no anything like that. Carbs. Yeah, but yet they have bread over there and they're doing fine. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they have really good, good bread. And they have good wine? They have good wine. I wouldn't know good wine from bad wine, by the way. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you drink wine? I do occasionally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, That's you have a, you have a fun event. All we I will. Is one glass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a lightweight. <laughs> so, well, nice to get to know you. Thank you for agreeing to come in. I hope this is fun for you. We it will, is. We'll make it fun. When Tom gets here, Tom is, a, is fun, too. Doug is fun, too, but I don't know where he went. I well, invited him in. He, invi- he, he kind of left. Thank you for the invitation. Oh, Happy you're welcome. Well, we support, we support the Marion County Literacy Council, and even though this is a competition, supposed mm-hmm. to be, you know, we all, in the years we've done this, we've always invited our competitors mm-hmm. to come in. And one year we actually won. Yes, we did. I heard. This year I'm <laughs> having know, doubts. This year you've got some competition. <laughs> oh, we have. Yeah. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't you know that we're going to win. Scanning. But we will contribute. <laughs> you know, we, we're like the guy in, in, the, in the back of the church with the quarter, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll, t- we'll take a little break and we will be right back with Madeline Rousseau. Fox News Radio on Bill Vitka. Steady as she goes, or will it be unsteady when we get the new unemployment numbers in a matter of hours? Michigan State University economist Charles Ballard says the March jobs report from the Labor Department could be a letdown. We've really had gangbusters growth in the last four months, and I think it may. 